Hello super user, so today we're going to learn how to play back Swung 16ths in Finale. As you may know, the default in Finale is to swing 8th notes, and let's first explore why Finale knows to swing 8th notes, and then we can discover how Finale wants to swing 16th notes. So normally, if we were to add some 8th notes, like we add those 8th notes right there, you know, by default, they're going to play back uh, straight and not swung. Like that. Uh, but we can quickly and easily make them play back as swung eighth notes uh, using many different ways, but one of my favorites if it's a entire document thing is to go to the playback controls under human playback style, just click jazz and it automatically applies swing for you. And then when you play it back, the eighth notes are swung. Now the reason being is that the eighth notes are one a subdivision smaller than a quarter note and because the time signature is a quarter note the eighth notes will then want to play back as swung when we set swing playback. So if we change the time signature to be with an eighth note on the bottom uh, then the sixteenth notes will want to play back. So let's do that. So click on the time signature, edit time signature I'm just going to change this to 1 through the end of the piece just in case something messes up and we're going to switch this to 8-8 eight, eight. so 8 beats on the top and with an 8th note on the bottom now of course we want it to display still as 4-4 four, four. so under more options use a different time signature for display and make sure it is 4-4 four, four with 4 beats or a quarter note per beat and hit OK you can see it did rebeam this as 8th notes we will cover that and how to fix that uh, but now, if we were to add a bunch of 16th notes, like that, for measure, and still under swung playback, let's hear it playback. Okay, perhaps we have to slow it down a little bit, just that way we can hear it. See, swung back 16th, and of course you can play with the swung preferences to get it exactly how you prefer. Uh, you can always have light swing, or you can have heavy swing, or dotted 8 16th swing, or however you want. But of course we still want it to be beamed up into 8th notes. So if it's a short stretch, the easiest way to do it is just go back into simple entry, click on a note, and the forward slash button will beam together the previous two notes like that. But of course, wouldn't it be great if we were able to do this automatically? And to do that, we're actually going to use another really simple trick. Uh, we're gonna combine this with composite time signatures. So back over here in your time signature, edit time signature, and instead of doing a normal 8-8, eight eight, we're gonna come up here to composite. And for beat groups, in one single box, we're gonna do two plus two plus two plus two. That way we get groups of two eighth notes together all over eight. So we have basically two eighth notes plus two eighth notes plus two eighth notes plus two eighth notes. Hit OK and then make sure that all the other options are set. You're still using 4-4 four four as the time signature. And hit OK. And you'll notice automatically the 16th notes beam as if they're in 4-4. Four four. So that is how you play back swing 16ths correctly while simultaneously make sure that the beaming is still as 4-4. Four, four. So if you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. Each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest, so if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a new video comes out.